is your role important to the school? Well, I am the reading specialist at Chad's Ford, and my role is important because I not only work with students in small group to help them with all the skills that they need to be successful readers, but I also work a lot with teachers and meet with them to talk about all things that have to do with reading and how to help their students be better readers. How long have you worked at Chad's Ford Elementary School? I have worked at Chad's Ford for 21 years. Oh, wow. It's <laughs> a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you do in your free time at school? I laughed at this question because do you think I have free time at school? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, <laughs> any time <laughs> when you're not really in a group or teaching. Um, so when I'm not with groups and teaching during that time, I'm usually planning or, like I said, I'm meeting with teachers um, to go over things that they need help with in their classrooms. Um, sometimes after lunch, I have a few extra minutes, and Mrs. Garris and I, if it's a nice day, we'll go outside and get some exercise, and we'll walk a little bit. That's cool. <laughs> um, what inspired you to do your job here at Chad's Ford? Um, well, prior to working at Chad's Ford, I had two other jobs, and my first job I loved. I was working with students. I taught third grade, and then I got my master's degree in reading, and I got a different job, but that job was more of just working with teachers. I didn't really get to work with kids in small groups or in the classroom, and I really, really, really missed that. So um, I came to Chad's Ford because that was the part of the job that I was missing and I knew I would be able to do here and that's part of why I love being here because I get to work with all of you. That's really good. If you were not a teacher, what would your job be? Um, if I was not a teacher, I would like to do something that has to do with food because I love food. <laughs> <laughs> so I would either want to like travel around the world and try different kinds of foods and maybe write about them like for magazines or something like that or um, be a chef or a baker but I'd have to go back to school for that because I'm not really good at that but I'd like to be better. That's cool. <laughs> if you taught a subject what would you teach? Um, I think I would want to teach math because I don't teach math anymore and I really um, liked teaching that when I taught third grade. That was one of my favorite subjects to teach to my students, and I miss that, so I would probably want to do math. That's cool. If you could change one thing about the school, what would it be and why? I'm selfishly going to say I would like to change my room. So, Mrs. Clark, if you're <laughs> watching this, I would like to have a different room <laughs> because mm -hmm. it's small and I don't have any windows, so I can't see outside. And it's very dark. What is your favorite book to read? Um, I like any books that are mystery or like thriller type books. Those are the kinds I choose to read when I'm reading the books that I want to read. Why did you pick reading as your job? Um, because when I taught third, when I was teaching third grade, um, I felt like that was one of the areas that I was teaching that I really wanted to get better at and do a better job at. So I, that's what I went back to my get my master's degree in reading, and now I'm a reading specialist. <laughs> what did you study in college? Uh, when I first went, one of the first four years that I went to college, I went to school for elementary education. So I went so that I could be an elementary school teacher. And then, like I said, once I got my first job and I was teaching, I decided I wanted to go back to school and get my master's degree, and I got my master's degree in reading. I like that. <laughs> what do you like to do? It's also like um, outside of school instead of inside of school. Um, I, well, things that I like, to, well, I like to read. I also like to run. Um, I've done a couple races and I've run. And I like to travel and I like to spend time with my family and my friends. Who's your favorite author? Oh, hmm. That's a tough question. <laughs> I don't know if I really have a favorite author. Mm, I don't know. I have to think about that and get back to you. I don't <laughs> really have a favorite author. Okay. And do you have any pets? I do. I have two dogs, Willow and Luna. And then we also have a cat 
It's actually my daughter's cat that lives with us, and his name's Owen. What type of dogs do you have? Uh, Willow is a mix of she's an American miniature shepherd and a what's called a healer, and then Luna is a mix of a German shepherd and an Australian shepherd. Aww. What type of cat like do you have? Um, Owen is just a black cat that it actually was a stray. We live um, close to some woods, and we found him, and he's become part of our family. That's cool. How many kids do you have? I have two. They're twins, and they are 25 years old. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like that. That's all. That's it. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome.